Hello everyone! In this video, I will go over the most important new features in Onki 2.141. This was a big update. I'm currently on Onki 2.143, but that's okay, the two last updates were technical, like code fixes, and not resulting in new features. So these are the changes that we'll be talking about. However, I will explain the new rescheduling option in a separate video. So anyway, let's jump into Onki. The most important changes are the changes to the browser window, especially the sidebar. Now you can create hierarchical tags rename them and remove them, and the same with DEX, so you don't need any add-ons for that. Regarding node types, you can go straight to the Manage node types window, which used to be only accessible from the DEC or the editor window. So actually, let me remind you how to change node types. We can see that I have some ugly node type, because I imported a pre-made DEC, so first let's highlight all the cards that have this node type, then let's change the node type to, in this case, basic reversed. And then let's go to manage and let's delete the unused node type. I showed you that in a tutorial for beginners. So anyway, let's come back to the analysis of the sidebar. Please notice that everything can be collapsed if you want to. Next we have three new sections, card, state, flags and today. Please appreciate that these are not actually new features, only that in the old version they were hidden under the filter button. Also notice that all these filters and many more can be accessed by using the appropriate commands. For more information please visit Onki Manual section searching, I will put the link below. A small side note, please recall that filter overview is very handy when you come back from holidays, so basically in such cases you carry on with due cards as normal, but also you slowly go through the backlog, instead of doing all the cards you're supposed to do at once, feeling panicky and overwhelmed. I've already spoken about it in a video on Onki algorithm. There are still a couple things I would like to mention about the sidebar. With the card states, notice that the cards in relearning are not included. Obviously, if under lapses steps you have a single step that is less than a day, then all your cards in relearning will be under today again. But if you have multi-day steps under lapses, then that is not true anymore. Just a brief reminder, to pull cards in relearning, type is learn is review. I also talked about it in a video on Onki algorithm. The last thing to notice is that in order to see your entire collection, press DEX, and to see all flag cards, press flags. And by the way, please remember that to unflag a card, you just need to repeat the same key combination. So let's talk about safe searches, or if you prefer, saved filters. As we have already seen, in the newer Onki version, the filter button is removed. And so to save a search, you just need to click on Save Searches and Save Current Search. The last awesome thing about the sidebar is the search bar, but it is self-explanatory. Now let's jump into the main search bar. Search error messages are now much more specific. In an old version, you will get only one type of error, invalid search, which was not particularly helpful. In a newer version, Onki gives you clues as to what is wrong. For instance, it explains that prop due must be followed by a comparison operator and therefore by a number. Next improvement is that search terms are automatically linked by a visible end. In the past, end was implied but did not show up, which was confusing, especially for beginners. There are a few commands added, like prop pose, that is property position. Position is a property that only new cards have, and it specifies the order in which you will do new cards. With this command, you can search for a specific position. Now we can see a card with position 2. Please bear in mind that you will see the position under due column. And if you don't see the due column, please click on the white bar and make sure that due is ticked. Also a reminder, you can change the width of columns and the order of columns. Anyway, to change the position of a card, go to Cards, Reposition. Personally, I don't use it, but if you do, then I will post a link to Onki Manual, which explains how to change card's position. The last couple of changes in the browser is that first, we have a preview button, in the past we could only preview under cards preview, which was a bit awkward, and secondly, we can now make filter deck from the browser. 
This feature used to be facilitated by an add-on, but now it is built in and it comes with an extra option, which is fire. If you don't know what filter decks are, please check out my video, the link is below. Anyway, let's quickly make a filter deck from orange flags. I have only one orange card, but that doesn't matter. Now let's highlight all flag cards and let's choose create filter deck. Now let's notice this tiny link, show any excluded cards. Click that and what you see? The orange card. It's because cards that are buried, suspended or in other filter decks are not included in filter decks. The reason why the option show any excluded cards is so great is because it used to take a lot of digging in the Onki manual to find out what cards are excluded from the filter deck. For instance, I found out that without the scheduler, cards in relearning are not included in filter decks. That's a bit of Onki history for you. This was one of the very many reasons why you need to use the scheduler. So anyway, the point is that excluded cards are usually in such minority that it's very easy to overlook them. But now the new Onki version takes care of that. Next, there is a nice update concerning the tag field in the editor. So let's add another tag to this card. And let's say I want to add this tag to another card as well. Now we can see that the tag field auto-completes from anywhere in a tag name, and not only from the start. Okay, so the last updates I'm going to mention are about graphs. So let's suspend some cards, let's study some cards, and let's go to statistics. Graphs are much interactive now. So with the first graph, Future Due, you can click on specific bar, and it will take us to the cards that are due on that day. Another very useful interactive graph is the one that shows the ease factor. And don't get me wrong, you can access these subsets of cards from the browser using appropriate commands. But it's so nice to have interactive statistics as well. Let's move on to card counts diagram. Here you can choose if you want to include suspended and buried cards. This of course is very important if you rely a lot on pre-made decks. Lastly, you can choose what day of the week your Onki week starts at, and this diagram is also clickable so you can easily see what cards you did on a particular day. Okay, so that's the main new features. As I already mentioned, that is without the rescheduling options, on which I will make a separate video. For more information, please read the changes on the Onki website. I will put the link below. The last thing I would like to mention is that the new update resulted in some core add-ons being broken. I will try to update the information about it below my video on add-ons. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Bye!